Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the month of September, your 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much harmony, joy, luck, love, peace, and blessings, all that good stuff. You guys are awesome. If you are a cross watcher, please do come right on in and join us. You're always welcome here. I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us. Please remember that when it comes to tarot and oracle card readings, it's all about the messages and the energy. Please take what resonates, leave anything that does not, and always go to our Heavenly Father, God, and your beautiful angels, ancestors, and your lovely and awesome, incredible spiritual teams and families, first and foremost, for your most significant guidance. Always exercise your free will and do what you guys feel is best for you in your life, situations, and circumstances, okay? Everything has been prayed and meditated on. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Gemini, you guys are wonderful about keeping my channel going and growing. I do see the progress. Thank you for all your likes, your energy, your love, your support. You guys rock. You guys are fabulous. Please know that I appreciate you guys. And if anybody wants to go the extra mile, I do have PayPal and a PO box all listed in the description box below if you want that information. Also, the Heart Shape Super Thanks is there if you guys want to donate. Thank you so much in advance. If you do, just being here puts a smile on my face. So thank you guys for being a part of my spiritual journey. You guys are amazing and I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, Gemini, all the decks I'm using are listed in the description box below. Everything has been cleansed and meditated on. And I think we are ready to begin your reading. We're going to start with the High Vibe deck by Becky Moore. I love this deck. Lots of good ways and tactics to lift your vibration. She did an incredible job of this. Your message here is love sensations. I was not surprised to see this because you guys are Gemini. You guys are known to be the lovers, right? So... It goes hand in hand. Gemini, your message reads as follows. It says, think about someone or something you love. Feel the love and grow as and grow it as big as you can. So feel the love and grow it as big as you can. Then hold that love in your body. What does love feel like to you? Where do you feel it in your body? Notice the subtle nuances of love. The longer you hold the sensations of love in your body, the longer they stick around. Beautiful message. I love the opening of that. It's very thought provoking. Okay, let's get your spread of start of the sea. I am using the Intuit Oracle deck here. This is by Kim Aria. I love this deck. Please bear come through as you always do for Gemini for the month of September, your 2022. The first card will represent you guys. The second card represents the change that you guys see happening next. The third card represents what's going to trigger this change to happen next. The fourth card represents the action or guidance that you guys can take from spirit, of course, as you choose. The fifth card represents what's happening with family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors. Could also be you, relatives, or neighbors, distance or far. Take it how it resonates for you. And the sixth card also represents the outcome. I always start at the bottom of the deck as it represents the overall energy. You guys have a tower moment is here. So angel number six is here. And I do hope that you guys will look up any and all angel numbers that you guys see because your angels do a magnificent job of providing extra messages, guidance, help, support, all that good stuff to help you along your journey and your path. Okay. So you guys have a tower. This is about survival. This is about somebody who put you in survival mode because they left you in the dark. You may have been ghosted. You were mistreated. You did not deserve this energy. It was not your fault is what I'm getting. Somebody just was a true trickster. They played a lot of games. I'm hearing manipulation and trickery. A lot of mind games were here, okay? This person was highly addicted to a lot of things. You know, some people are addicted to pain. It's not always like the drugs and the alcohol that could be it too. But I feel like a lot of things, this person has a lot of addictions to being jealous, addicted to low vibrations. But you had to leave a job or um, a person for a lot of you. It could have been both. Um, I'm getting romance heavily. So a romantic interest, an ex, something like that. You guys have to leave people behind and let go and learn to trust your inner knowing, trust your intuition, trust in God, walk your own path without these people because somebody gave you a lot of evil, negative vibes and energy. It's because of all the lying, all the, you know, the trickery, and it caused a lot of heartbreak and pain in your world. And it was a sudden change when everything finally hit and crashed. You know, a lot of chaos was here. 
but you guys went through awakening and oftentimes we go through these awakenings because of what people have done to us to make you better to make you stronger spirit will put you in the spiritual training so that you get the lesson so that anytime somebody ever tries you like that again you will know the clues you'll know the cues you'll know the red flags and what to look for so that you never tolerate a person on such a low vibration a lot of people are just spiritually weak and that's the energy i'm getting somebody was very aggressive or um, violent even and that's something to never tolerate you're better than that you are worthy you guys are wonderful you're splendid you deserve respect you deserve loyalty you deserve love you deserve peace you deserve to be treated like you are somebody because you are you deserve to be treated like a king or queen as the best because you guys gave your best somebody's desires and intentions were not in the right place they wanted what they could take from you and they got angry when they couldn't get it anymore so a lot of you guys caused your own towers by pulling back your energy and, you know, letting the tower fall on these people while you climb the ladder to prosperity and happiness and success, you had to really dig deep and go within Gemini and figure this out and go closer to God and spirit and definitely consult with your angels and your spiritual team. Way to go. You know, good job. You guys did the right thing. This was not easy. This was very chaotic. It was a lot of problems and just unnecessary conflict and drama you didn't need. But you know what? We never wanted. We you know, when we're in this world and you have good intentions, and I feel like you guys did have good intentions, your heart was in the right place. Not everybody meets you there. And a lot of people put on this mask and they pretend, but the masks are falling off. They're being crushed. They're being exposed. It's crumbling. So they have to deal with their pain. They have to deal with their karma and not put that on you. And you guys have had to learn not to take on other people's burdens and their challenges and their problems and not let people take out their problems on you. Somebody was really lazy in the relationship, very one-sided, always into social media, always distracted, doing the wrong things and apologizing, but never truly being sorry. Some of you guys never did get an apology or a sincere one. It's like this person didn't claim you, but they were very two-faced. One way around everybody else, another way behind your back. They destroyed this relationship and you finally just said enough. You wiped your hands of it, washed your hands of it. You're just done. You learned the power of no. You learned how to walk away and take back your power. That is beautiful. So you're embracing change. You're embracing what's next and what's new. And you're ready for your breakthrough. So that's beautiful. Okay. Continue to take action on whatever you desire, your goals, your creative endeavors, your happiness. Okay. And be clear in what you want in a romantic interest, a partner, soulmate, a lover. Be clear in what you want in a friend. Be clear what your expectations are and your boundaries too. And that's something you guys definitely learned as well. More boundaries. What's representing you guys at this time. I love it. The full taking a leap of faith, having a new start, a new beginning, getting out there, jumping into what's next and what's new, like a free spirit and enjoying it, you know, loving it, you know, exploring different things on the computer with technology, with your phones, your smartphones, and just all this stuff, just open to opportunities. I think you guys are open to new and better opportunities. And that's beautiful. And even the unknown, just being a true individual, being yourself, being in your own skin, feeling how you feel, focusing on your strengths. And what's beautiful about you because many things are great about you. So stay positive. Continue to stand in your power. Go forward. Uh, Uranus, ruler of enlightenment, is here. So you guys have been completely enlightened about blessings coming into you, luck coming your way, um, your spiritual gifts of clairvoyance or um, clairsentience, clair clair uh, audience, claircosmience. So hearing, sensing, feeling, just being enlightened and embracing what's next. Okay. Beautiful. I love this. This fool leaps with eyes open and angel number nine is here and number six was here. Okay. What's next for you guys, Gemini? You guys have island. I love this. I hear, I'm hearing island time. So angel number 21 is here. Some of you guys could be traveling, taking a lot of photos or pictures or just pretending you have a getaway or just traveling, going somewhere different, going to a destination, just doing something independently, solo, on your own. Um, you could be coming across this very standoffish. That's Okay. You guys need your time to separate from others. You need your time to just relax, uh, rejuvenate, refresh yourself, reinvent yourself, um, protect your energy, continue to do that. Okay. So you guys could be estranged from somebody. There could be a major breakup here. It could be um, a divorce. It could be a separation, something like that. But you guys needed your time away for you to go into isolation and take a break. So that's coming up here. Do what's best for you. Some of you guys could be traveling abroad, dealing with... Um, different foreign lands, foreign places and people and just enjoying the scenery, enjoying the vibe, having some nice tropical food and tropical drinks and just enjoying getting away. Even if it's just like 
a new spot, new hangout spot, traveling, going somewhere, road trip, whatever it is, hopping on a flight or a plane, but definitely envision you surrounded by your favorite island or your favorite place and just enjoying everything that island has to offer. So you guys need some downtime, some more rest, relaxation. Okay. It's okay to be independent, standoffish. That's okay to protect your energy. You should be. You guys have been through a lot. So take care of you, your self-love and self-care. It matters. Okay. Let's see what is going to trigger this change, getting justice. I love it. Libra energy. You guys might want to watch the Libra reading. You guys could have Libra in your charts. You could be embodying the energy of this Libra, this, um, this justice right now. So you guys are going to be more fair to yourself. You guys desire harmony at your homes, in your life, in your relationships, with your money. You guys are doing things to balance things out. Spirit is calling judgment on people who have wronged you, especially those who went above and beyond to go out of their way to be disloyal, disloyal to you, betray you is what I'm hearing. Um, there's a lot of people who just didn't value. They didn't appreciate you. They took you for granted. And believe me, they're facing an increase of karma. It's not pretty. It's not good. But it's for their greater good so that they can learn. You know, even if you guys get apology or have got them for those who did get them. I feel like somebody was totally not sincere. And not just that, but they were a repeat offender. And it's not even about the apology. Sometimes people feel like if they say the apology, if they say that they're sorry, whether they mean it or not, that the karma will go away. No, they're going to get what God is giving to them because they've earned it, because they deserve it, because this is what they have acquired by hurting you, misleading you, and betraying you. They don't get to get away with that, okay? If you guys are in court and you guys are fighting a court case or closing out some kind of um, divorce or closing out you know, some kind of settlement or something. I see things going in your favor. So just be honest, be fair, have your evidence, stay cool, calm and collected, speak up for yourself, come dressed well, you know, be a professional at all times and stand in your strength, stand very strong, very tall and resilient at this time. I feel like in most cases, things are going to go your way or it's going to be closest to it as possible. Okay. Don't go back and forth arguing with people, show the facts, show the proof, have your text, have your pictures, whatever it is that you guys need to come, like, very refined, okay? Yeah, I feel like you guys will be accommodated. I feel like um, you're going to be vindicated. Uh, you're going to be restored, okay? Things are going to go your way. Some kind of justice is coming, even if it's at work and, you know, somebody didn't, didn't pay you right or it's, it's going to come back to you, okay? Speak up for yourself. Be clear. And to the point, if you're fair, I feel like fairness will come back to you. Okay, I'm hearing, yes, you will have justice, Gemini. Gemini, let's see what the advice is from Spirit. Angel number 13 is here. I saw this um, in your pre-shuffle. I'm not surprised to see this again. This is the elephant. I love it. It says obstacles removed. Obstacles are going to be removed. It's like you guys are embodying the energy of an elephant. Like the elephant is so big and so strong and yet beautiful and just magnetic to look at. And it's like, it's just awesome to look at. And so people get out of an elephant's way. An elephant don't have to run for people to run. An elephant can just stand up, can walk in a room, enter, you know, an area because you're powerful. You guys are wise, okay? Trust your instincts. You are all knowing, okay? A lot of you guys, I don't see this on the table yet. It may or may not even be here, but I'm getting high priest, high priestess energy. So you guys are very connected to spirit and source. Tap in, tune into your spiritual gifts. Listen to them if you guys get spiritual downloads. If you're seeing numbers, signs, omens, synchronicities, pay attention to them. You guys have support and you could be experiencing uh, telepathy with somebody um, around you or somebody that you know. So pay attention to these signs, write them down, trust your knowing, trust your inner knowing, trust your guts, okay? Your gut feeling is, is going to lead you the right way. You guys have your wits about you. You guys are stronger than people give you credit for Gemini, but you also can be very gentle. Um, you're like a gentle giant. I love it. But, um, you guys may have some very lucid dreams, a lot of dreams at this time coming through. So yeah, like I said, pay attention to those downloads, but, um, obstacles are going to be removed out of your way. Things are going to be solved. Things are going to get better for you guys. Okay. So hang in there. So spirits like, just be strong, be you standing your power. Okay. I love it. Communicate clearly and effectively. What's happening with family members, friends, and people around you. I love it. Angel number one is here. Somebody's having a new beginning as well. The sun could also be you just enjoying time outside. I always say you sunscreen, be protective of your body, of your skin and all that good stuff, especially if you guys are, you know, where it's like really hot. Okay. 
you can get sunburned, so be careful. Um, somebody around you, it could also be you, is being very creative at this time, or Spirit is wanting you guys to be inspired, to tap into your creativity. doesn't matter what that is. It could be going on a trip and just having some fun painting, taking a new class, getting inspired to lead something or be a part of something different and new, a new group or something, a new social group. If you like to draw or sketch, if you are attracted to crystals and jewelry, wear them, make them, make candles, whatever you guys are inspired to do. Spirit is saying, get up and do it. It could be dancing, it could be acting. And don't be afraid. Just let yourself be a free spirit and have a good time. Okay, enjoy time with family. If you guys have children, socialize, talk to them, get to know something different about them. Go get your nails done, your toes done, have fun, and just um, just be like a big kid. You know, I'm, I'm getting like, just be a little dirty, be a little sloppy. It's okay to make a mud pie and go old school with it. It's okay to have fun and get a little messy. Everything washes off with water. But um, just have fun again and just enjoy family, enjoy socializing and being around good people with good conversations and good energy. You know what I mean? So you guys could be having a family gathering or meeting up to do something, but make sure you guys rest and rejuvenate. You guys still need to sleep. Okay, you still need to rest your bodies. You guys have gone through a lot. You guys need to inhale and exhale deeply at the beginning and end of the day and just, um, you know, focus on your success. Focus on your purpose, okay, and stand in that. Stay close to God at all times. Stay Christ-like. Read. Um, do some research, stuff like that. But uh, stay loyal and true to yourself, true to your feelings and your thoughts, and stay prayed up at all times. Your outcome, Gemini, is the tree. Angel number five is here and the seven of cups. So stay grounded. Know who you are. Fertility is here. So, you know, congratulations if you guys are expecting a new baby or you guys are trying. That's awesome. Congrats. And if you are not, be careful because you could be very fertile. This is not just fertility with expanding a family, but also this could be fertile with like all type of like in with your investments, with your ideas. You guys could be fertile with, you know, brilliant ideals or, you know, something going on where you guys may create something or make something or invent something. So that's beautiful. Write it down. Get on it. Take care of your health. Get your checkups and the health screenings and health checks and check in with yourself, your mental health. Check in with you. Ask yourself, how am I doing today? Ask yourself, how am I feeling today? What's my vibe today? Check in with yourself every now and then. And make sure you're in a good place mentally, physically, and emotionally. Okay, and be honest about your emotions and release what you don't need. Do things in a positive way. You know, hang out with your kids. Give yourself some positive self-talk, some affirmations. Um, play kickball. Spend some time writing, drawing, whatever it is that you guys enjoy. Okay? Definitely praying. Stay in constant prayers when I'm hearing. You guys may get some information about acoustic uh, records or, um, am I saying that right? But anyway, but about records about the past life. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But um, you guys may find out about past lives, your past lives records, or you may watch readings on this or something like that will come out and something may surprise you in a beautiful way. You guys are evolving. You're very connected to source. Pray outside, pray under the tree, hug a tree, um, talk to plants, talk to animals. Spirit hears you know that you guys have plenty of options so weigh them out carefully especially if it comes to like a love interest somebody's coming your way people see you as very attractive so somebody is desiring you and I feel like it's more than one so could be options with love um, options with ways to increase your money and your business and your finances and all that but various options coming through um, with work and love and you guys are trying to find the balance of both and I feel like you will weigh things out do the process of elimination ask questions get to know about products and anything you're invested or interested in or anything you want to be invested in make sure you guys find more information out about it about it and trust um trust like i keep hearing trust yourself trust your inner knowing listen to the elderly as well they're very wise they always offer something um lessons and their life story you can learn from everybody learn from them check in about your ancestors your lineage about what was done and you know what people improved on and where improvements are needed okay so that you guys can continue to break toxic cycles and things of that nature because you will stay grounded and um stay very centered stay in a peaceful mind frame and all that good stuff that'll be good for you and your soul okay gemini let's close your reading out i am going to be using this deck this is from the midnight oracle shop so let's see what spirit has for you. This is for Gemini spirit, for Gemini. I'm hearing you guys had to learn to be strong at a time where you didn't have a lot of support, but you're finding your way. 
you have endurance, you're finding your way. You guys have enhance. It says add missing elements. You need to boost your success. What would make your life easier? Make it so. So I'm here and do whatever makes life easier. Whatever gives you like energy to be in a smooth, like good flow, like a good groove, do it. Your affirmation is I manifest like a boss. I love it. I love it. I love it. So do things that make life easier, add resources that make life better for you. Do what feels awesome and amazing because you guys are and you deserve good things, great things, awesome things. Okay. Gemini. This has been your reading for the month of September, your 2022. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you guys abundance, blessings, fulfillment, stability, victory, harmony, happiness, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Gemini.